That's, that's not the real reason. Like I said, this car was my daily driver. Um, you know, hanging just like you guys and 3G owners and other cars, you know, car enthusiasts, you hang out with some car guys and they go to the track and then you follow suit. Uh, I originally um, tried drag racing the car and it just, it wasn't, it wasn't fun for me. And then one of my buddies was just like, hey, why don't you come out to these autocross and road course events with me and see how the 3G would perform. So, I agreed with it and I said sure let's, I'm, I'm all down for it I've never autocross never road racing anything like that and I mean I got made fun of people laughed at me as soon as I showed up uh, so like my first autocross and uh, road race experience uh, it was rough uh, the car wasn't set up for it at all so after you know after like you know just reviewing stuff and just researching like I started dialing it in and once I got that car, once I started dialing it in and getting more comfortable in the car, that's when everything just took off. And it was just like a light bulb. And I was just like, this car has potential. And a lot of people didn't know anything about the car. So they just always, you know, overlooked it, never thought anything about it. So I continued to just basically follow this crazy idea of tracking a 3G. And you know, I would show up to events and you know, people would overlook me and you know, just not even look past the car and they'll make some snide comments. It's just like, why don't you sell it? Why don't you get something better? And that right there, like all that negativity was just driving me to just prove guys wrong. And it actually did. Like I started turning some heads at the track, like, and then people actually started commenting and it's like, man, I didn't know that car could do that. Man, what's in that car? What? It's a V6? I didn't know they came in a V6. They're like, man, car handles great. You know, it's just like props all over because no one knew about the car. They would just, you know, always just, I don't know if it was just from the internet uh, or from the Fast and the Furious, like everybody thought it was a joke car, but it really wasn't. Well, still to this day, the 3G, the Chump Car Stratus, all of them they doubt they doubt this platform very much and like as soon as i get that car on track and start just turning some heads it's just a double middle finger to those guys who ever doubted me doubted the platform doubted my drive because a lot of people still they're like man you should just sell this piece of crap it's not worth it get an evo and i don't want to i want to basically prove people wrong that they have no idea what's what's the potential in this car like i wouldn't quit on this car or this platform if i didn't see the potential i see a lot of potential with this car and there is still a lot of things that have not been unlocked with this car mainly with the motor but there's there's some suspension components and just dialing it in that we that personally i haven't unlocked I'm getting very close and along with my uh, champ car buddies uh, with the Stratus, we're getting really close to just getting this car set. We've actually had a guy who does professional stock car racing and uh, some other, he has a long history and when he got behind the wheel, he was like, you guys have almost maxed the possibilities with this car. He said, there's a little fine tweaking and he said, but he said, it is a phenomenal car. So for that right there, that is just more drive for me. Even when I have, you know, bad, bad times with the car, like, you know, if you guys have been following me, I've had, you know, oil leaks, I've had a bad motor and like that, like, that doesn't mean I want to quit. Like, I, I'm not that type of person who just, you know, up and quits and just, oh, this platform sucks, I'm going to another platform. It's not the platform. I mean, if you have the mindset and the drive to get things done with a car I mean it could be anything that I mean if you're the sky's the limit so 
if you just have that mindset that you're going to make this the best car ever, then it's going to be the best car ever. So that's really it, guys. I just wanted to just, you know, I wanted to clear the air for a lot of people. I'm not saying that the 3G is the most dominant car out there, but I will say it's a very underrated car. And my drive is to basically go out on track and show people what the potential of this car has. We've, I've been doing it and we've been doing it with the chump car. Like people still are like, like we got called cheaters with the damn Dodge Stratus. Like I've been called cheating with the 3G because someone got, you know, basically I freaking out drove them. And that's really it. Like I said, the negativity is what drives me to keep going with this platform. Um, it's not a bad platform. It's very, you know, it, I wouldn't say it's very user friendly because you have to basically either there's there's a lot of parts that you can just buy online, but there's a there's a couple of things where you don't know if it's gonna work or not. And like I've been doing a lot of trial and error, and like I've finally have got this car dialed in how I want. So it's just time for me to show people out there what the potential of this car is. Um, it's not a big powerhouse car unless you go with, you know, a Myvex swap or anything like that. But the reason why I went back to the 3.0 motor is just to show the everyday driver guy who, you know, doesn't have the money for a Myvex or a turbo that you can still have fun with this car with the regular 3.0 motor and just some simple bolt-ons. You get the car on track and you just basically learn how to drive the car. That's going to be your most important mod. So that's it. It's just a little rant and rave and not really rant and rave, uh, just for me to clear out the air. And so people will know, you know, old subscribers and new subscribers can know how, like why I, I'm still sticking with the 3G. Um, so that's it. Uh, like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.